With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. A riding ball of mass m strikes a rigid ball at 60 degrees and gets reflected without the loss of speed. Okay, without the loss of speed as shown in the figure below. The value of impulse imparted by the wall on the ball will be. You have to calculate the impulse imparted by the wall. Okay. Um, so if I write here the impulse I that is the magnitude of change in momentum. Okay. That will be M delta V. Right. So this is our uh, th this is the formula of impulse. Now, if I see this question here, um, we are given that without the loss of speed, that means the magnitude of these two velocities do not change, only the direction changes, right? So if I name this velocity v v1, and if I say this is the final velocity v2, so I can write here that magnitude of v1 will be equal to magnitude of v2 which can be equal to v velocity right so now um, if i resolve these two vectors this is vector v1 and this is vector v2 so if i resolve vector v1 here right vector v1 here this is along the x direction v1 will be v1 cos 60 degrees right and along the y direction this is the y direction here this will be v1 sin 60 right v1 sin 60 degree and for v2 this will be along the x direction right this along this direction this will be v2 cos 60 degrees and along y direction v2 sin 60 degrees okay now from this equation we can see v1 and v2 are equal so that means along the y direction v1 sin 60 v2 sin 60 these two values are equal that means there is no change in velocity here so we'll just have to calculate the change in velocity along the x direction right that means if i say if i draw it like this v2 sorry uh, along the positive x it is v1 cos 60 degrees and negative x this is v2 cos 60 degrees so if i write the change in velocity that will be v2 final velocity minus v1 initial velocity that means if I follow sign convention that will be minus of v2 cos 60 right cos 60 degrees minus v1 cos 60 degrees okay as these two values are equal this will be minus 2 v cos 60 okay and cos 60 we know that is the value of cos 60 is 2 so this will come out to be minus v so negative so basically um, change in velocity is delta v we just calculated that impulse i here is m delta v okay so m delta v will be mass m is the mass of the ball delta v is minus v and i'll just take the magnitude of it m v therefore impulse is mv that means our correct option for this answer will be option number one mv for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today